Howdy folks, this is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome back to Let's Play Door Fortress. Now, as you can see, a couple things are different. Actually, only one thing's different, and that is that the webcam is gone, and we actually have our proper PNG tuber thing going on. So, we're testing this out still. It might make adjustments. It might be too large on the screen. It might be too small. It might be vibrating too much. I don't know. We'll figure that out as we go. But... The other thing that's going on is I haven't played Dwarf Fortress in quite some time. We had a backlog of videos and then I had to take a break during the holiday season because I had too much overtime and I also had to go visit my family and all that stuff a couple times. So, yeah, I don't remember exactly what we were up to. So I know we were getting everyone moved underground. I know we have this dog that's diseased and we can't fix it. Not that type of fixing, but can't fix its rotten leg. <laughs> It's kind of really bad. Oh, we have a an alpaca in the cage that we'll have to let out. That much is for sure. Looks like we have a new anvil too. So I guess the last thing we did was we must have traded recently. So let's get a new metal smith up and going. Put it next to the other one. And then let's go build this cage. Uh, is it? No, here it is. Right where it says cages. It is important that we get the right one there. Yeah, also reinstalled windows, so we might run into unexpected issues of Dwarf Fortress with... I had to reinstall or remark its library as the Steam library, so we'll see how that goes. Seems like it's fine, though. Someone had, someone had a baby. Uh, how are we doing on our food and drink and stuff? Drink is a little low. It's a good thing we can see the stocks now. I don't even know if we talked about that last time. Uh, this... Ah, there you go. Here's your problem. Oh, we don't have fruit. It might be time to set up, like, a gathering zone for fruit and stuff. The only problem is it does mean people are going to run outside and be at risk of getting attacked. That is the problem with these gathering fruit zones, why we haven't set one up yet. But we'll just put it in front of the base. Surely people working right in front of the base will be fine. Yeah, we'll have them gather with equipment too. We'll need to build more step ladders, probably. Oh no, I built step ladders. Thank you, past me. We're out of plump helmets. We're making masterpiece beds. We should also permit these again. Oh yeah, we don't have... Wow. I feel like we're probably behind on this. We should definitely have beds by now. That's, uh, that we're going to have to turn on. As is per usual, every time you restart the game... Got to reset these settings. See how many we can go again. Planning mode would be a great feature for the toady one to add to the game. It would go a real long way. There we go. Let's see what that does. Let's see, is anyone gathering out here? No. That tells me that we probably should turn on the ability for anyone to do this. It's going to make a lot of people come out and do this, though. So maybe we should just assign some random folks. I'll assign, like, our doctors and stuff. They're not doing that much. Our expedition leader is also not doing very much. Woodcutter can come out. Just like that many people. Oh, have we gotten our stuff back? Yeah, this must have been the traders that we already traded with. Oh, they're packing up. Okay. What bones are these, River Otter? <laughs> wow, you made another 10 beds after I placed the first set of like six? Or have no, has no one moved them down yet? No, they moved them down. Do I have more doors? The 
just means our carpenter is extremely quick. Fortunately, our mason is not. Let's double check our doors. Oh, no, you're doing it. You're the right stone worker, right? Well, let's start getting some bedrooms in. We already made this one a bedroom, right? Yes. So, next thing we'll do is show you how to do multi areas. This is actually a new feature that's very nice. Um, it makes it so you just select anything that's a bedroom. It won't work if they don't have doors, but we can select these three. And you can see it made all three into bedrooms automatically. We don't have to go in and individually mark rooms as bedrooms like you used to have to do. And you can just do that. And as long as you don't assign dwarf manually, these uh, will become random doors. We'll just claim those. We don't have to assign them manually. As we mentioned before, just to reiterate, we are to the point of the game where I have to kind of play it more as a let's play instead of like pure tutorial style. And in fact, we've also ended the tutorial series version of the game that I was posting. It just, uh, it takes too long. <laughs> and we'll not get anything else done. That was also kind of the other contributing factor to ending up having to take a break there was I no longer had a I was really running out of time from making those videos. But as you can see here, now there's this huge area here that got cleared out of all the stuff that's on the ground. They would do it really quickly. It's kind of crazy. Considering how many stuff, how much stuff was on the ground. Obviously, it gets tempting to go mark more stuff, but nah. We should have oh, more migrants, doors, stray cats grew up, hunters hunting things. Okay, so we should have our doors again. Build doors. I have this order set to 10. Looks like it. Still set to multi. That's good. Bedroom multi. Go. Human poet is visiting. Now, yeah, now I have some fruit kicking around. Yeah. That ought to help us out. Oh, this is done, so let's let him out. Or her out, actually. Uh, the next thing we need to start thinking about is additions. Kedpa Tactic Baby? What the heck is that name? Yes, you may stay to entertain citizens. Oh my god. I think this zone is just so popular because it's technically a meeting area. Even though it's been marked as a hospital. And it's the closest to the surface. That's why people aren't staying here instead. A little annoying. Maybe it's accidentally... I think we checked this though, didn't we? Paint. Visitors are welcome. It's not. Bone doctor is ready. We have a skilled bone doctor. Whoa. Here in diagnostician, you get in here and help. <laughs> Someone has to do it. Oh, maybe that would have helped the dog. I think that was not listed, though. It must have been an update to the game. So I think I assigned everything I could, unless whoever had inside and died, but they shouldn't have died. A bull calf, this thing, alpaca. I do have a stray dog we could train into a new war dog. We should probably do that. Some livestock, regular dog. This is another list that is, like, not the best. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Let's make this one another war dog, since we have one that's in pretty bad shape here. The hell, Crendles. That just means we know what they are, I guess. Jabbers. 
Like we haven't gotten into the uh, Jesus. We haven't gotten into the cavern layer, so I'm, I was kind of surprised to see those, but we'll deal with those when we get to them. Okay. We should dig out more bedrooms because I now have 40 population. As you can tell, that is only, I don't remember how many I made, 10, 12, 12. Uh, that's not right. Let's see. Want to make it equal? Oops. Not my best move. I make it the same as the other side. Man, I'm having an off day. Maybe I should slow down my mouse DPI here. Yeah, let's take it down a notch, ma'am. Nope, oh, that's 12 actually, so we're good. I'm surprised I eyeballed that much right. Okay, that time I just bumped into my keyboard. My desk space is a little bit limited. Once again, we're going to need... Extra large rooms at the ends. Just making sure they're the same size. There we go. That ought to do it. Straight war dog. I'll probably assign that to our fighters once we have fighters. Which we might be able to start getting to going here. Let's see. Uh, how are we doing on, like, bars and blocks? Bars. Lots of iron bars. Don't show me this again, please. Oh, those pop-ups are probably going to be back because we installed the... That's a lot of coke. A lot of iron. But I don't think that's the same as pig iron. Do we have work orders for this stuff? How did I make that much without making work orders? That seems strange. Um, so we have a lot of coke we're going to want to set up. Well, first of all, we're definitely going to want... Crafting orders for these. 20 out of 20 and make more if... Honestly, less than 10 is probably fine. No, uh, I might get out of control. Do it if it's less than 6. Hope it's not just all charcoal. It's listed differently, right? Yes. Okay, we're good. Is this just like raw coal laying around somewhere? I don't even know if there's such a thing in this game. Or actually, I think I did see a bit luminous coal, didn't I? Oh, this is lignite, which turns into coke. Just thought maybe we had a bit luminous coal. I think that that is just automatically coal, which is really awesome. Uh, this one will make lignite, and then this one will make pig iron. I've got pig iron, I've got pig iron, I've got all pig iron. 20. And make more. If... Less than five. Don't make too much. We want to make sure that we can, that we don't run out of uh, other stuff. And then this one we'll make, because it's a multi step process. We need pig iron in order to make steel. Balls of steel. Balls, balls, balls of steel. There we go. And then, oh, you do have assigned workers. Workers work. I'm just going to double check to see if we have, no. I'm just going to see if we had someone new who was maybe better at smelting. 
We should have three iron workers, right? You're already a weaponsmith, so I'm sure you're fine. Legendary. Hold up. Make sure the legendary one's on duty here. It might have already been, but I just want to make sure. Solon, you're also going to do this. We need to turn off your other job. Oh, boy. Solon. Fortunately, there is two. No, there's only one. I'm in the wrong menu, though. Stone cutters. Goodbye, Solon. Why did all these new... Oh, I guess it's because of the weird... <laughs> the weird system of things in this game. Okay. That's silly to me. Eh. I'll have the wood. No, no. Let's have, like, the paper maker do this. Let's allow the... Actually, this guy might have planting skill. Not the new one. It's like, let's make the farmer farm. Plant gatherers. Let's turn the woodworkers into plant gatherers. It just kind of makes sense. I'll turn it off of you, though. And also my main farmer. And then we have some extra people. So I think we need to start turning some people into workers. Or not workers, fighters. Notice we had an extra armor, but I think we're good. Now those should stay busy. Let's let that all start running. And then let's consider expanding our military. Yeah, these are all popped up again. What? Why don't we have a pretty sure we assigned our Militia leader as a unit a thing, right? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna make them an archer. Let's select them. Let's make sure their schedule's clear for now. Yeah, right now they're always off duty, unless I manually assign them to duty. Let's check their equipment. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Equip. Let's see. You have like the right stuff. I like a way to see like what the. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Individual choice. You shouldn't need a shield, right? Can I make it specifically a buckler? Like that might be fine. But I don't think they should get. Really big shields that could. I don't know if they can use it right if they have a bow. All right, so that's our the start of our archer squad. I will select you, and I will see if we can add more people here. Anyone else? Yes, I don't know why they're not sorted by their skill in it because everyone else is, like all the other things. So this hunter's also going to be. Part of the squad here. So is this guy. So is this guy. There we go. See, we ran out of pig iron. That's going to pop up a lot because, you know, they have to cancel the steel orders because they need pig iron. Oh. Surgeon has been possessed. Craft Stores Workshop. You can have everything you need, my good sir. He's not in the shop, which means he's out there grabbing what he needs. Unless I read it wrong and he's actually like up here. No. Yeah, good. Possessed by unknown forces. You know what? We haven't dug out a... Uh... 
we need a tomb. Let's make it like this, and then we'll make some pillars in here. Mostly a decorative thing. And we'll knock out the corners for decorative purposes. There we go. Also, these should be... Oh, you're not done? We're probably due to set a second miner. Have we gotten anyone else who can mine? Have a novice miner. Sure. We'll get you to work, but you're going to need a pick. So that's why we're making... Making new stuff. Ooh, hematite. Pretty sure you probably already knew that we had pump hematite. Huh, maybe we didn't. We have chalk, which can be turned into a pig iron and stuff. Pig iron and steel. But these hematite is iron. Of course, steel's better. But if push comes to shove, actually, you already have some iron, right? I'm not sure when we forged it, because <laughs> they don't have repeat orders for it set up, so... Did I just buy it from a trader, maybe? It's a lot to buy from a trader, though. What we could do... Because we have archers now, right? We need three more bows. Have task. Well, that doesn't let you uh, bulk search from the top menu here. Iron crossbows. Uh, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Can I, uh, nope. At least iron's on the top. Makes things a little bit easier. Three iron crossbows, and while we're at it, iron pick. We're saving. Next season. I think it's winter time. Luckily, we don't have to worry about things freezing over. If my memory recalls. Let's see. Yep. Nothing is frozen. It is winter. So, Peter, get a gun industry going? Probably not. Oh, hello. Thief, protect the horde from the sulking filth. You guys actually ballsy enough to come here? Usually they run away as soon as... Oh, they're running away. Okay. Oh, maybe not. What we'll do... So we'll grab the squad. Hopefully they not grab their weapons, which is a little annoying. Uh, I guess they're not made yet, right? Now they're running off. I'm going to say they usually just run off the thieves and things. With the spare war... Oh, this guy already has one of our... He already has a hunting dog, actually. Might save our extra war dogs for our melee fighters once we have those. Masterpiece Iron Cross, but that's going to be nasty. <laughs> that is going to rip and tear. i tell you what. I got to get in the habit of not even messing with clicking those pop-ups. That's frustrating. It is where that bed needs to go for things to be mirrored properly. Gonna drive me psycho bonkers crazy. Huh? A little surprised. What you making, bud? Oh no, there's an exclamation mark. Leather skin. Blocks, bricks. Tree life. Pretty sure we have a work order for blocks, yeah. What do you want, then? 
Are we really out of leather? I thought I bought leather. We didn't. No. So I told you about making these airlocks so you can lock people in. Probably not going to get leather anytime soon. Should have, uh, should have decided to make this. At an earlier date, but before the uh, caravan left, maybe I could have helped. I am shocked we don't have leather. That doesn't make sense to me. I can't guarantee that we bought leather. I know I probably bought more cloth than leather, but there should still be leather. Apparently not. Odd. Not sure how that happened. But we do have bitluminous coal here somewhere. We just struck it. This is where we're mining. Then where is it? Maybe none dropped. A little unusual. Oh well. We are out of time for this video though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, I hope you have a good day.